Hello friends, this is Durga again from ITVarsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. Today, uh, ITVarsity is proud to announce um, our new platform to learn big data, which is Big Data Labs for a dry run for free. So, uh, you will be having access for free for a couple of uh, weeks to a month and then we will open it up for paid subscriptions. So, the way um, I, I will try to explain how you can access uh, um, the website called bigdatalab.com once you sign up for an account how to access the lab and also how to raise the issues uh, using uh, the forums. So to begin with you have to go to uh, bigdatalab.com in a browser and then you will see this page. You can click on sign in or sign up. If this is the first time you are uh, doing uh, then uh, it's like sign up or register. And uh, you can either sign in or sign up using uh, Google Plus, Facebook or LinkedIn or you can also provide <coughs> email and password. Okay, and click on Google. Uh, so I'm trying to authenticate using Gmail and I'm trying to access using my uh, Gmail ID. And as this is the first time I'm doing, you have to get a user for accessing the lab. Okay and uh, uh, that one will be done only if you make the payments in future for now we are not taking you to the plans we are directly giving you the user access but eventually we will go through the plans once you subscribe then only we will see this page where it will ask you to uh, create user and you can get the payment history at the bottom once we open for the payment sub uh, paid subscriptions so in this case, the user uh, is the username is fetched from my email ID, which is training at itversity.com. If you want to keep that username, you can keep that and click on create user. If the username is already used by someone else, then you have to uh, generate a, or you have to add a unique username here, and then you can click on create user. It will what it will do is it will create a user account uh, at OS level on the lab. And then it will also give you credentials to the lab. So username is whatever you have chosen. Password, you can copy password from here. And to access the lab, there are two ways. One is you can click on open console and take, go to the lab. And the other one is you can also uh, you can also go to gw01.itversity.com which stands for gateway of ITVersity and here it will prompt you for the username and password and the username is training copy the password you can log in either from here or from here both are same in this case we are only splitting the screen and on left side we are trying to show the content from ITVersity on the right side we are providing access to the lab uh, ideally we should only uh, um, display the big data co developer courses so i will create a menu in my website where you will only see the big data courses and you can go to the content on the left you can resize the screens like this if you want to read you can increase the uh, content portion if you want to practice you can increase the lab portion it's uh, you can you can use uh, the lab this way and then you can also log in here username is same password paste it it timed out let me log in again you can access the lab uh, like this and also you can actually use the putty or linux based terminal or mac terminal or sigwin whatever tool you are using to do ssh you can use that as well and uh, you can actually say ssh training is the username and uh, Domain name is gw01itvarsity.com. It will prompt you for the password. Just paste the password and hit enter. You will be in the lab. Okay, you can use whatever way you want. And now, if you want to run Hadoop commands, you can run. You can see there is nothing in uh, uh, Hadoop for your user space. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, whenever the account is created, um, it not only creates the OS user, it also creates a user space in HDFS and you can use it uh, to copy your files, etc. 
and if you want to launch hive you can type hive and hit enter and you can see hive is also accessible here it's a hortonworks based cluster and you want, if you want to access somebody you can go to gw01.itvst.com8080 and it will take you to the ambari and the user is training and password you just paste the password which is generated okay and there seems to be some issue with uh, with the password anyway we will be resolving all these issues whenever you encounter these issues just let us know we will try to resolve those issues okay password is now copied i think i have copied something else earlier and uh, it is pasted now if i click on copy password here and paste it in ambari i can see the ambari screen it's a read only view so these are the things which are available on this cluster and it's a two node cluster and you can see the two node cluster here okay so this is how you can access uh, lab from command prompt and also through ambari and we'll be adding more and more components as we proceed uh, for now this is what we have done so in case if you have any issues while accessing the lab even in the preview period or dry run period you can go to something called discuss.itvarsity.com it's a forum okay and uh, if you want to sign up you can sign up by clicking on it here so here let me use a new email id so that i can demonstrate you to how to sign up and and then you will get an email you have to uh, um, accept uh, that email so let me check that okay you can confirm your new account here click here to activate your account and continue to it university and now you are logged in as uh, a new user and now what you can do is you can go to you can create a new topic and choose the category as big data labs and we can create sub uh, sub categories also if required but the main category is big data labs and then uh, create a new topic about your issue and we will try to resolve those issues and um, uh, we will uh, start um, exchanging the information using uh, these forums called discuss.itvarsity.com again we need to improvise on uh, all our web portals such as uh, this one which is itvarsity.com which will have the content um, and other web portal is discuss dis discussion forums which is discuss.itvarsity.com uh, and also if there are any issues functionally we will try to resolve those issues also in this um, uh, preview period that being said i hope you will be enjoying the uh, new platform to practice on big data and uh, so let's stay tuned and uh, start uh, uh, start uh, discussing on the issues and try to resolve those issues while learning uh, the big data for free for uh, next few weeks and also practice for free once uh, everything is uh, uh, stable stabilized then we will actually open the lab for paid subscriptions and the pay uh, and the payments will be uh, the rates will be approximately uh, as low as 10 dollars per month if you go for a 6 month uh, subscription it can be as low as $10 per month uh, otherwise it will be approximately $15 per month and we will uh, keep on improving the lab uh, adding more and more components over time that being said thank you very much bye